Hello guys, today I want to talk about queues in Laravel and about specific one small feature that can help you to avoid exceptions. And this is based on a tweet by Ruben who told that there is a possibility, real possibility, that if the job in your queue is executed later, the changes in the database may happen, like for example, models were deleted in the meantime. And I will demonstrate you the actual error that happens in that case and how to prevent it. Imagine this scenario, you have a simple form to add some data and you want to do some job on that event of new model. For example, send notification to someone. A very simplified example, I've created that partly with our quick admin panel. When you create a record and then you add a job, dispatch a job like new project notify job. In my simplified case, it's just logging the project ID to the laravel.log file but here you can send notification to someone, log something somewhere, whatever. That's not the point. The point is that this job is executed into a queue, which may in reality happen later because there may be hundreds of other jobs in the queue. And that's the whole point of queue to be executed later, no matter when in the future. It may be immediately if you're lucky, but it may be a job number 103 in your queue, for example, which may happen minutes later. So now I will demonstrate you what may happen if the record is deleted. Meanwhile, I deliberately use a queue driver database because then I can manually launch the queue whenever I want. So in our case, if I add a new record, let's do exactly that new something, I save there is a new record, great. And in the database, since the queue driver is database, there is a table called jobs, which stores all the jobs, they are not executed yet until I launch PHP artisan queue work. So in the success scenario, I launch PHP artisan queue work, and that job should be processed, great, then it is deleted from that database jobs, another database table failed jobs is empty because the job isn't failed. And then we should see in Laravel log file, that information. So that is a success scenario. Now let's stop the queue. And let's do the same thing, add a new record, but we will delete the record before the job is executed. So new to here, the jobs table should be with this, but we haven't launched yet, pretending that the job is still in the queue somewhere and will be executed later. But meanwhile, we delete that record and it's not in the database anymore. So you can take a look at projects table and we refresh and we don't have that record. And now if that job comes to the execution, we launch queue work again, we have a failure, failed job, which will fill the failed job database with the actual exception. Exception, you can take a look at on the right hand side, I will zoom it in a bit. So this is the exception, no query results for the model. So we send the job, meanwhile, something changed in the database, and that model isn't in the database anymore. And then you have exception, which may be avoided pretty easily. So this is where we're getting back to the original tweet by Ruben, click the link. The link is to the documentation of Laravel 8, but it's still the same in Laravel 9 still works. There's a property that you can define in a job called delete when missing models. So let's do exactly that. In our new project notify job, we define this. Why is it underlined? Property type. Okay. Let's continue the good habits of defining everything. So delete when missing models true. Let's try again. Let's quit the queue work. Let's add a new record. Delete that new three. We delete that. And only then launch queue work. And let's see what happens processed. So it's not failing anymore. It doesn't throw exceptions. It just ignores that job. So if the model isn't found, if there's model not found exception, then Laravel silently just skips that job and moves to other jobs in the queue. And that is pretty logical if you think about it. If there's no model to execute stuff with, then we should ignore it and move on in most cases. So this is kind of a quick trick, one property that I wanted to show, but I wanted to show the full circle of why, what happens 
and why that property is specifically useful. If you want to find out more about queues in Laravel, one of my courses on my Teachable platform is called Queues in Laravel. So in one and a half hours, you will find out about how queues work, what can be queued in Laravel, like event listeners, mailables, and stuff like that, how to retry jobs, how to deal with failures, how to group the jobs, and stuff like that. So you can check out that course. The link will be in the description below, or you can subscribe to yearly membership of my courses and get all of the courses at once. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.